Most people think Manual was a majority African American school. It was actually majority white. It was only 43% African American, 51% white, and you know, 7, 8% Latino. And the reality is, is that this school was the most unified, close-knit school you'll find in the city at the time. And I mean, we were all about Manual High School. And that we were, again, the world was against us. Um, and it mattered that we cared for each other. We didn't care about skin color. We cared for each other. The only colors we cared about was red and blue, manual Thunderbolts, when we were Thunderbolts uh, from our heart. There was a time when we didn't realize that we weren't doing the best we could as a school. We hadn't set the environment that was conducive for excellence. And we didn't realize that until um, a new principal was assigned in the middle of the school year. I mean, I was a sophomore at this time. Miss Linda Transu came in. She was the first African-American female principal in Denver. She stood up and she had an assembly and talked about, you know, those of you who don't want to come to class, you can leave now. Because if you're going to be in this building, you're going to be committed to excellence and you're going to be focused on education. She made all the young men who were in the building, you have a roof over your head, take your hats off now. And at that time, Michael Jackson was really hot. Um, everybody was into Michael Jackson. He said, if you walk around here with zippers all over your jacket and gloves on your hand, take them off now. And she was roundly blue, booed. I was one of them. We all boo, boo. Before I graduated, she was the most beloved principal, educator in all of our lives. At our reunion, she was there. People were just all over her, loving Miss Transu. We didn't realize she was setting an environment for us to commit to excellence, and that we were all headed toward college and, and to do something with our lives. Nobody really cared about us, and what Ms. Transu showed us is that she cared, and that made a difference to all of us. A thunderbolt is the only thing that God created to take out an angel. <laughs> <laughs> only, thunderbolt, only thunderbolts know that. And I remind angels all the time, look, you don't know this, but we were created to knock you out, to discipline you and keep you in line. 